welcome back viewers so this is going to be second video about management of locally advanced gallbladder cancer that is theoretical discussion and fifth video in uh, management of gallbladder cancer series so uh, the whole course is available on our app and as a playlist on youtube so if you have not watched our previous video please do watch those videos before watching this video then you will have better in-depth understanding of the topic Friends, in this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the topic about multivisceral dissection that will be the hepatopancreaticodinectomy, bile duct dissection, the papillary variant of gallbladder cancer, the role of adjoint and neoadjoint treatment, PET scan and research gaps. Friends, we will cover in detail all the relevant uh, trials that will be CAP3, ABC2 and uh, other relevant literature the analysis so this is going to be a bit lengthy video so stay tuned till the end of this video and you will have better understanding about the management of locally advanced gallbladder cancer friends these trials and this information is usually asked in viva questions and in is part of the many mcqs while you are preparing for the super specialty or post graduation examination so uh, stay tuned till the end it would be desirable that if you watch this video on preferably on a larger screen like your smart TV or on a laptop or a iPad because I mean the content we have uh, condensed the content and uh, you will have better view in, on a larger screen. The first four points we have already talked in first video and the points number five, six, seven, eight we are going to cover in this talk. So friends. Uh, we have already talked about uh, the management, the surgical management of gallbladder cancer uh, in three videos and uh, that is the lymphadectomy, the role of aortocable lymph node sampling, the liver vagus dissection. That will be the practical demonstration of the surgical part along with the theoretical part in our previous talks. Don't forget to check those videos. And friends, uh, all the whole course is available on our app and as a part of promotion to our startup, we are uploading this video also on our, on our app as a free content. So do download our app and get connected to us and uh, you can scan this code to visit our website and if you are using the iOS platform, then put the org code, uh, org code, org code is NGOFT, just remember that. Or if you want to watch this video, full video, SD premium quality on YouTube only, then you can join our membership and uh, please scan this QR code to visit the members only section. So hopefully you have already watched our previous videos and first four points are not me, lymphatic drainage, uh, the jaundice, etc. We have already covered. So now let's start with this video that is what is the role of aggressive dissection in locally advanced gallbladder cancer? The definition uh, the, of the locally advanced gallbladder cancers we have already talked that is any tumor with lymph node metastasis or any tumor with T3 and above will be labeled as locally advanced gallbladder cancer. So aggressive dissection in gallbladder cancer means when we are doing major hepatectomy like we are doing right hepatectomy or we are combining the liver by dissection or hepatectomy with the bipolar procedures that will be HPT. So uh, I mean what is the take what should be our uh, inference from the literature. So uh, this is a, another uh, one important paper by Brinbaum et al published in the European Journal of Surgical Oncology. So in this paper, uh, they uh, basically uh, objective was to see the benefit of patient uh, of T3, T4 gallbladder cancer, whether they get benefited from resection or not. So uh, they analyze their data and uh, total consecutive 78 patient of T3, T4 gallbladder cancer, which underwent resection over a span of 1992 to 2011 were analyzed. 40 had CBD section, 10 had pancreatic dyspnea PD, 4 had right colectomy and 2 had gastric section that is along with the gallbladder surgery they had concomitant these surgeries the in hospital mortality was 8% and uh, but gradually the hospital mortality improved after uh, 2003 as the uh, advances in the surgical field and out of this 67% had lymph node metastasis and 22 patient had N2 disease and 86% had uh, R0 disease so uh, According to this paper, the liver and pancreatic dissection did not increase the morbidity or mortality. That was 10%. For form, but for me, it was high. 
uh, friends this is the data which they have reported and uh, you have to analyze the data at your end also so fiber survival report was 17 percent and they reported that survival improved after 2002 that is 26 percent nine percent and uh, n plus disease that is the when the lymph nodes were involved the five year survival was 10 percent versus 32 percent when the disease uh, was not uh, involving the lymph nodes which was statically significant but the n1 n2 had similar outcomes so from this data the authors reported that cvd resection or major hepatectomy did not worsen the overall prognosis but the resection of the contiguous organ other than the CBT was an independent negative prognostic factor for overall survival. Having said so means if we require to resect organ other than the CBT, it negatively impacted the survival of patient and patient requiring Whipple procedure that is PD, gastric or colonic resection had 0% 3 year survival and which was uh, statically significant on multivariate analysis. So the conclusion from this uh, landmark paper is that resection of T3 T4 gallbladder cancer is worthwhile if we can achieve the R0 resection and uh, N2 metastasis should not preclude the surgery again I mean this is what the authors reported and the good results are possible even with CV resection or major hepatectomy but the benefits of CPD or other organ resection if needed is doubtful that means if we require to resect the CBD or the major hepatectomy in the form of three or more segment or right hepatectomy, then the survival was good. But if we need to resect extra hepatic organ, like except the CBD or the liver, then the prognosis worsened and it was 0% after three years. So these are four, uh, I mean, another good papers or landmark papers, which reported the outcome after HPD, that is hepatopanglitic in gallbladder cancer. And all, in all these studies, the authors have reported their outcome after HPD, but the data is combined for gallbladder cancer, bile duct cancer, and hyalur cancers. So if you see, except for the third study, that is MIVA S et al., the, where mortality was reported as 0%, other three studies have reported the mortality up to 47% like second study by Otati et al. And if you uh, scrutinize the data clear, uh, carefully, then you see the Otati et al. The second study had highest number of gallbladder cancer patients and they had highest mortality. Other studies have more patients of bile duct or the hyaluronic and they reported a favorable outcome. But for me, this amount of mortality is un unacceptable. So uh, we will see should we do HPD or not in gallbladder cancer in the subsequent part of this talk. So about the role of major hepatectomy with or without pancreatic odontectomy, this is another good study by T. Mizum, T. Mizuno et al. published in British Journal of Surgery recently in 2019. So uh, they uh, analyzed the data of major hepatectomy or HPD for 1996-2016. So in this period, their center did 79 major hepatectomy and 38 HPD and the overall mortality was 18%. So HPD was done more for T4 diseases with lymph node metastasis and but these patients were less likely to receive the adjunct treatment which was a statically significant number because they had higher complication, post-operative course was stormy and grade 3 or high complication were more in HPD and the overall survival after major hepatectomy versus HPD was 32 months and 10 months and fiber survival was 3 and 38. Again, you can see the difference and it is a statically significant difference after HPD, the overall survival was very less. So the authors from this paper concluded that major hepatectomy alone for gallbladder cancer had a favorable overall survival and morbidity mortality, but HPD was associated with poor overall survival and higher morbidity mortality rates. So HPD may eradicate the cancer However, the indication for the procedure is questioned because of the very poor overall survival and higher morbidity and mortality after this procedure. So friends, data from these papers is I mean the basis on which you can base your clinical decision making and you can justify your uh, I mean decision uh, that why you did HPT or why you didn't do HPT that on the backing of these literature evidence so that nobody can question your decision making. 
तो फ्रेंड्स इफ़ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब दैन यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू वॉच द कम्प्लीट वीडियो एज ए सेट अर्लियर द फुल वीडियो इज़ अवेलेबल फॉर फ्री ऑन आवर ऐप एज ए प्रमोशन टू आवर स्टार्टअप सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू चेक द लिंक विच वी हैव गिवन दिस वीडियो एंड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो प्लीज डू डाउनलोड द ऐप विजिट आवर वेबसाइट एंड इन्जॉय द फुल कंटेंट द वेरी कंटेशियस इशू अवॉर्ड कॉलोडो कैंसर मैनेजमेंट इज should we do bile duct resection and it is again one of the most common question asked and one of is basis of the many mcqs in super specialty examination also so uh, let's uh, have a look should we do or should we not so uh, the empiric major hepatic resection and bile duct resection they increase the morbidity without any demonstrable difference in the survival so the i mean the reference to my all the facts and figure and this talk is given in every Uh, part of this video and viewers can check these links and download these papers and have more uh, detailed in depth knowledge about these papers and have better understanding so uh, i mean uh, so there is no difference in the lymph node harvested uh, or lymphectomy with or without bile duct resection one major uh, one of the major i mean uh, uh, reason you will hear in the talk is that bile duct, bile duct resection is added to increase the lymph node yield but uh, this paper has has reported that there is no difference if we do bile duct resection or not the lymph node harvest is similar the ms kcc study has reported 109 colbert cancer and out of which 68 had bile duct resection so uh, bile duct resection was done for 36 cases because clinically it was involved or 32 was for the empiric resection so uh, the five year survival without bile duct resection was 49% which was significantly higher so i mean you have to analyze this data carefully and the stage of disease not the extent of extent of surgery if we can achieve the arduous resection determine the survival of patient who undergoes surgery for gallbladder cancer this is another good paper by kurhara et al and uh, so in this they analyze their data about extra hepatic bile duct resection so uh, about, so 80 patient of their center were i mean categorized in two types one was proximal one was distal so proximal is toward the neck and distal toward the fundus so uh, from this data they reported that a proximal tumor location that is a tumor located toward the neck lymph node mets and cea more than 5 had a poor prognostic value the five year survival overall survival in proximal was 33% as compared to 73% in distal type so uh, and also proximal tumors had higher chance of uh, r1 resection and uh, more number of lymph node positive and higher uh, that is will be perineural invasion so uh, extra hepatic bile duct resection they reported improved prognosis only in patient with proximal type of tumors when the tumor was toward the neck of the gallbladder so uh, these uh, curves that kaplan meier survival curves convey a lot of meaning the first curve is uh, the overall survival in patient who had distal type of tumor that is the tumor was toward the fundus so when the resection was done that extra hepatic bile duct resection was done or when not done that is a 7 and 13 they compared the survival so you can see there is not much difference and it is not statically significant on the other hand the graph b which demonstrate the overall survival in patient who had proximal type of tumors the extra hepatic bile duct resection had a better survival overall survival in long run and again it was a significant difference statistically we concluded that the external colostomy with extra hepatic bile duct resection should be performed when the g gallbladder cancer is involving the neck and cystic duct to reduce the local and regional lymph node recurrence and achieve better prognosis having said so means when the tumor is toward the neck to achieve the arduous resection the extra bile duct resection extra hepatic bile duct resection is justified whether it is indicated clinically or as a prophylactic measure this is again a good systemic review by pachalis et al and they combine 24 studies Uh, out of which 55% had extra hepatic bile duct resection out of 12251 colbert cancer operation and uh, uh, from this paper the authors concluded that the extra hepatic bile duct resection should be used as a standard operation for tumors involving the neck 
or the cystic duct of gallbladder either it is macroscopically or microscopically in all other cases the strategy surgical strategy should be individualized so according to the patient to patient but when the tumor is infiltrating the neck or the cystic duct so that requires a prophylactic extrahepatic bile duct resection coming to the papillary variant of gallbladder cancer one of the very one of the favorite uh, topic for the examiners and uh, mcq questions so friends papillary variant